on the YouTube. As you can see, it's green. After all the snow and the rain, it's probably been raining about two days, maybe three, every week since we've been in March. But I've got a creek down there that I've been working on. Uh, the tractor has a low hydraulic rate per minute. So I had to figure out a way to come up with something to uh, mow the creek bank, keep the weeds from getting so high. And so what I want to do is I bought this uh, lawnmower here. It was $85 for that lawnmower. Uh, I bought that and I had some angle iron <clears throat> and I had this uh, pallet fork set. Good thing about this, the, the forks will come off. So I took the forks off and what we're going to do is uh, I'm probably just going to, the simple process is use the angle iron. What I wanted to, the reason I set it up like this is because I wanted to use the uh, hydraulics on the tractor to go up and down because my plan is to run into the creek, drop it down more, lift it back up. If that don't work, I may change it to an offset. But this way I don't have to worry about hooking up no pulleys or anything like that. I can just use the hydraulic up and down uh, on the tractor. So what the idea is, this is about 20, 23 across. So I'm going to take the rear wheels off, uh, drill a hole here in the angle iron, put it like that. And uh, drill a 3 8 hole in that, put a nut and bolt on that end. And uh, okay, kind of got it mocked up what I'm thinking about doing. Uh, it's on the block, so it looks like it's going down this way because I'm on the block. I took the rear tires off, kind of leave the front tires to give me a reference. But think about drilling a hole in the side, drilling a hole right there, and then put it over there, put the nut back on it. I may have to drill another hole to put a collar pin or something to keep it from flexing. Or I may just let it flex and see what happens. Uh, but looks like uh, that was the right length. We're right at 60, right at 5 feet. So I'm probably going to put, uh, think about putting two, drill two uh, 3 8 holes there. And uh, put two bolts on each side. That's what I'm thinking about doing. But this is the way it'll look. From the front, that's the way it's going to look from the front, and then uh, this is the way it looks from the back side here. It's pretty sharp, I'll probably go all the way through. So, okay, just make the hole a little bit bigger than the punch mark, and it make it easier for the drill. So, we'll put the 516 drill on here, punch a hole through it. Uh, got some 516 bolts. Put those in. Let it hold it just to mark it up. I'm going to go through and tighten up these bolts. I'm going to tighten these on the, the skid steer pallet fork head first. Then I go and tighten those. Those go to look metric. These are just uh, 516 bolts, which means you need a half inch socket. So we'll run these up real quick. So it did uh, flop around, so what I went back to do is uh, <clears throat> I found out that these holes are a quarter inch, so I'll put a quarter inch screw in there, then I'm going to weld the bracket, weld it to here, it runs up to there. Uh, so that's what I was doing here, is going to drill a hole here, a quarter inch hole here, and uh, this is just some uh, one inch flat more, one eighth. And uh, so we'll just uh, cut that there, drill a hole there, put, a, put the screw in it, and then I'll come back and weld it uh, down. Weld it down here on the bottom. And that should hold it, keep it from flopping around. Okay. I think it should work now. Uh, put these brackets on there about oh, 17 inches total. About 13 inches, then I bend it over here about three inches, three and a half. So I use some quarter inch bolts on it. I decided to do that instead of welding. By the time you clean everything and then get the welder out, so 
I decided to do that, and uh, we'll give it a try. Let's find this baby up. That's a little getting used to. I think it's gonna be a win. It does the trick you saw in the video thanks for watching if you like these kind of videos to subscribe and you can stay caught up the spring is coming so we're finna get back outside